My name is Nomadic Poet, part of a group called The Planets. I'm an MC, lyricist, community activist, social entertainer. The first time I rapped was back in the early 80s after being given a cassette tape of Grandmaster Flash and Melly Mel and The Furious Five. And when I first got into to hip hop, to rapping, I, I was actually um, copying other rappers' lyrics and going to school and pretending they were mine. And everyone was like, hey, that's really great. Where did you get that from? And then I thought, hold on, why don't I try and write my own lyrics? So then I slowly started writing my own rhymes and eventually I got into MCing, the whole art of um, hip hop. I got into break dancing, graffiti. I wasn't too good with the graffiti. I wasn't too great with the break dancing, so I stuck with the rapping and I've been doing it ever since. At first, when, when I started doing hip hop, my mum my was like, oh no, Imran, you're listening to gangster rap. I don't want you smoking drugs and doing these bad things. I invited my mum and a few of my family members to some of our early shows and when they saw what I was doing in the community they were actually quite proud of what I was doing. I think I got the most resistance from my dad because obviously as a, as a father he wanted me to be the stereotypical lawyer, doctor etc etc um, and I was always kind of like a bit different, I was the only, only boy in the family so I was a little bit of a rebel and um, I always did my own thing. But when they saw that I wasn't actually involved in any bad stuff, I was actually using it as a positive tool in the community and other people were, you know, proud of what I'm doing. They were actually quite happy about it. The highlight was like, there's so many different things I could think of, but um, the ones that come to mind immediately was like um, one track we did, which was called Moving Along, which is a fully animated, video um, directed by a guy called Pat Smith from New York who done a lot of work for MTV. I spit Luca, some rap intruders, this dude it starts confusing like the Rubik's Cube is. Big Willie star puffing cigars like Cuba. Talking about how much your jewels is. Lions wearing fake diamond bootlegs. The style played out like Patty Poole. My crew made playlistic style. Turn soft like souffle. You got a briefcase of rhymes. Well, guess what? We pack a suitcase. That video went to win, win a lot of. Um, film awards like Cannes Film Festival and stuff like that and when it got aired on MTV for the first time it was like wow we're on MTV with our stuff and people coming up to us saying you know your, your video is amazing to this day you know a lot of people say that's one of the best videos that's ever come out of this country very creative very forward thinking at the time and this was actually before gorillas and all of that kind of stuff um, so that was really good and just like being approached by young kids you know saying that my music inspired them or they look up to me in terms of you know um, expressing what I express from my, my cultural background it's, it's a great honour you know so it's, it's quite moving um, Pakistan Pain was really a kind of um, freestyle track um, which I rapped over an instrumental by one of my favourite um, rap duos of all time called Organised Confusion my family in Pakistan died again mother and pops And basically Pakistan pain is me talking about all the different things that pain me when I switch on the TV and see what's happening back home in Pakistan, all the floods, all the corruption, all the infighting, all the tribal wars, just a, it's quite painful for me you know to see all of that happening so I just put it into a song and wrote that real quick and put that you know shout out to Global Faction who shot the video. Um, it came out real nice and people really liked it so that's that's really the inspiration behind that track just me seeing what's going on back home and and expressing that in a in a, in a quick song to the people when my father and my parents came to this country in the early 60s they were part of the first big wave or influx of you know people from the indian subcontinent coming here and then my older uncles, basically, I saw them struggling through school and I would see some of the things that they would go through in terms of they had to stick together in school because there was a lot of skinheads and National Front and people like that. So 
you know, the young, the young British Pakistanis growing up in this country, they had to kind of fight for their survival. That's what I saw as a kid growing up. Then me growing up in the 70s, early 80s, I saw a lot of, you know, I, I had a lot of race, racial experiences, um, such as my mum being attacked in front of me as a young kid of seven or eight. You know, we were walking down the street and I see some skinheads come out the pub and throw beer cans at my mum, call her a packy and all this. So me now growing up, I had all these kind of visual images and experiences and I was just trying to find myself as a Pakistani, born in Britain, you know, obviously loving my homeland. I'd never been there at the time. When I went there, went back there in, I think the first time I went there was 81 and I was very young at the time. It was funny because although I spoke the language, they knew straight away, you're not from here, you're a foreigner. You know, so I thought, hold on, but they don't even accept me here. They don't even accept me here as Although they know I'm Pakistani origin, but they don't really accept me as, oh, he's a native. So I was like, hold on, but I don't really quite fit in there in England and I don't quite fit in here. So where do I fit in? So it was just me trying to find myself. And I think now with the new generation, they've kind of more established an identity in Britain as British born Pakistanis. I came with the answer, Jawab. They salute me in the street like, Kya hal hai janab? Brothers in Kameez, sisters in Jill Barbs. I try to keep the means halal. I'm from where young teens sip sharab and young queens want to be Nicki Minaj. Mind you get singed like kebabs. I try to duck sin, gain sawab. See heaven on earth like Sawat Valley. But shaitan chalak, me and him need a talak pally. The mom zindagi ka maksad kya hai ali. Oh khali the Irfan Khan Rana Im Rana represent brothers Karachi to Kashmir me report to Waziristan we hear Adam but don't fear Allah we fear the liquor won't sell when we selling haram but then still go to the mosque like kya kare yaar wanna be gundas or bud marshes but their life is as fake as Jody Marshes minor street don't eat you up like Alu Gobi Allah Hafiz Chorty si zindagi hai then it's Qaddafis see I'm a kid that sip chai and eat Ras Malai but still eat beef burgers and french fries See I believe I can still be me and get by In Pakistan they call me foreigner In Britain they call me a packy boy <laughs>